Well, okay, welcome back, part three. Now, in part two, the video did actually cut out. So, I don't know what went on there, so we're gonna get straight to it, right? So, okay, tomatoes. I want them cut like that. That's how I want my tomatoes, done like that, right? Now, we're gonna go for, now, welcome back, part three. So, like I said, we was cut off prematurely. I don't know what, what, what we are, went on. Um, probably more controversialness from Michelin, I would imagine, because we are allowed to upload with Michelin, but sometimes um, things get discombobulated and all sorts of issues. Now the chicken is done, right? We're gonna take that out of the oven. Okay, that is done. We have probably got almost a basically a perfect Michelin chicken in there. That is amazing. Look at that shit. Look at that. Oh, Jesus, that is warm. Right, okay, that is juicy as you like. Juicy as you like, mate. So we are just going to plop that there so everyone can still see the awesomeness of the chicken. Right, okay, now I've just put some basic salt on this and uh, sea salt, black pepper, onions in, right? I mean, tomatoes in. Now I am highly apple ties, although this is a very easy meal to do. And all our collaboration, I mean, wooden spoon. All our collaborationists will understand this situation, right? We do this so that we can provide almost Michelin starness. See, look at the skill level. I'm not even moving wooden spoon. Wooden spoon is still. It's like the tomatoes are floating on a pan of bitchin' stardom and all of this, right? Even I'm amazed. Even I can't believe the amazement, right? So, the, the inside of them tomatoes have had a taste of excellence, right? Now, we're gonna give them more excellence, this. We're gonna give them, we're gonna give them, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna give them a taste of the residual garlic and thyme as well. And that's really, and that's the, that's the almost difference between the Michelin and the Buckman's executive. Yeah. Now, not a lot of people know what's going on in the channel, but we have had an infiltrator. That person knows who they are. We've had a Buckman's executive undercover special. Right, infiltrating our productiveness. Right, and we don't like it. We're not happy, right? We're an unhappy situation on the infiltration, right? Now, this person might be linked to Toast Watchers. Now, all my gang members are aware of the Toast Watchers scenario that is going on, right? And even I'm troubled by it, right? This is why I reached out to Michelin. That's why Michelin reached back and said, we're with you. I'm gonna give this a bit of a whack up now. I'm gonna whack this up to about a five. Cause I want all them juices of them tomatoes to be seeped into that pan of excellence. Now, I've got to be careful. I've got to be careful on what, on the time and how we do this. I don't think we've got very long, right? Um, I, hang on, we've got moments of irritation going on. Right, okay, utter rudeness interruption, uh, undetected, uh, uh, deactivated. Right, so we're gonna turn these over now on a nice little bit of, uh, on the bottom of these tomatoes now. All right. So yeah, so I hope everyone, this one's being, just turn over and stop being a knob. Right, let's wipe this right up now. Okie dokie, so, so let's all get relaxed. You know, let's all, let's get all one chilled out. So we have had some issues, right? 
you know, we've had a few issues along the way, you know. There's a lot of people that have been with us for a very long time. Um, uh, over a year now, maybe more, we don't know. The food videos have only, only literally been going about a year to this day, actually. So the food cooking videos are about a year to this day. Um, I went a little bit balls out on doing a lot of uh, cooking videos. And I wanted to do that because I wanted a nice back catalogue, right, of people who might get interested in the, the videos and all that sort of stuff and they can look back and do that and say that is just too much amazing. Right, now I've got to keep an eye, high eye on what I'm actually doing because I'm now getting mildly distracted because I'm talking like bullshit. Right, right, okay, let me turn these over. I want a nice little searing colour on them. I don't want, we're going to concentrate on these tomatoes, yeah? We're just going to give them some searing love, right? We ain't got to do nothing to them at the moment, you know. I'm going to get my egg pan out and my egg pan ready. This is my egg pan. Right, my egg pan of joy. That's just going to sit out there because we need to get these tomatoes up to a situation. Yeah, I know I've turned it, I know I've turned it up. Everyone can see that. But I'm going to sort out a few things first. Right. Now, one of the first things that I want to do, and this will be very, very highly controversial, right? This will be highly controversial. While then, tomatoes are cooking, I'm going to separate this chicken. Right, from the onion. People are going to say that's a very high heat. That is a high heat, and we need that to be doing some serious shit, right? But the onions, what that's doing its stuff. Like these are the roasted off fried onions, right? And they are going to be the basis of the chicken, right? For the bed for the chicken. Right, now I just want to. I just want to filter out some of the oils from that onion. It might be a little bit too much. All right. I just want to whack them in there for a minute. Right, I'm going to turn that right down now because that's enough power that we've had on there. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. That is what we want. That's the sort of colour I'm after. So here we go. But right, I need to take these onions out one at a time. Now I'm just going to put them on the plate. We are literally on the cusp of basically serving up now. But right, there's no, there's no way to go about it. It's just cusp of serving up. Yeah, that sizzle. And that sizzle means power, right? It sizzle means accomplishments that are known to man and trusted throughout the universe of power, right? So we're going to turn everything off now. We're just going to go for a... We're now concentrating on the chips. There's a lot of um, situations going on with the chips now. Now, this is going to be pretty groovy. I'm going to have to put the extraction fan on. I hope we're still recording, so right, let's do it. Oh shit. 
right, that's all right, that's all right. Don't panic. That was a moment. That was a moment of exhilaration. Right, I'm going to leave it as it is. There is a bit of oil there. I don't like that, but what can we do? What can we do? Right, okay, I'm going to turn that back up. Up, up again, up to a six. And we're going to get a final fry on this. Hang on, we are having moments again. Right, okay, so. Right, here. Shit. Spatula. Spatula of joy. This is the spatula of joy that is anticipation into the situation. Right. Right, okay, we are having moments now. We are having heavy moments. That needs to come out. They are slightly. Oh shit! Well, I've had an oh shit moment. Right, I like them quite over. I like them done anyway. But I do like my chips to be cooked. I like a proper chip cookage. Right, so I like them to be a nice brown colour. Right, so I want that. I want that power of that cookage. Right, so that's what it's all about at the moment. Um, I'm not. Right. There is no way I'm saying that it's not a situation. I'm going to give them a salt in the chips. They're quite, they are, they are deeply cooked. Right? They are deeply cooked, but it's fine. It's not a problem. I like them. But I like them with some colour. Right? I like them so they've been seen to. Right? That's how I like it. Right? So we're going to put the tomatoes over there. They are going to do their thing. Um, I got slightly distracted. Um, I'm going to put out the best ones that I can. Um, so, but these are any single cooked chips. They're not triple cooked. They're not double cooked. You know, if you take your eye off them a little bit for the boil, um, they can get away with you in some situations, right? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have un Michelin starred on this of, of, of them. Right, they are, they're still amazing. It's just like your eye might be being a bit biased, that's all, right? So we've still got like amazing chip jiggies going on, right? That is not the situation. They're gonna give them a little nice sprinkle of salt and a nice bit of black pepper as well, right? Okay, so now we are into the final entourage. Right, now it's all about the egg. It's all about the actual eggs, actually. So, while we've got the eggs, oil, attempting to be heated up, right, we need to place the onion. Now, I want the egg to be flowing into my chips. Right, I want to make sure I'm still relevant basically right so I've got the onion I'm gonna place it round here right because when I lay that chicken that is gonna be in place with that with the onion right I want it sitting on there and I want it to be displaying its its circumference this 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 right all about being planning ahead and mixing it. Now, we've got the, uh, we've got the chicken, right? I'm going to lay the chicken, I'm going to just lay it that way. And that sits on a bed of roasted onion, right? And it's just too, it's too, it's too gorgeous. It's too gorgeous, I'm not going to cut into it, and the reason why I don't is because I don't need to, yeah, I don't need to, yeah. We've had numerous exportees to get that Michelin letter to me from Michelin, and we, we're on failure number 25 now, yeah, no it's not, it's about for one, two, three, four, six, seven at least, right. Now, we know the relevances of the importantness that they do, do this, right, because they know that I'm too amazing, yeah. And so do you. So, we're going to serve this up now. Right, I'm going to crack the egg. It's broken. I knew it would happen. Right, 
you know what happened. But it's fine, because I've got another one. And if this breaks so, then I'll be amazed. And it won't, because I'm too much good. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to have a fair representation right, of different results. Yeah? I wanted a broken egg, and I wanted a non-broken egg. Right? For reasons. Reasons to be announced and to be put off for another day of explanations and amazement that everyone can see and everyone can understand that yeah we've done it again now like I said we've got a lot of things to do this month we've got a lot of hunkering down to do I've got a lot of survival tactics to employ right I'm not going to do anything with that I'm, I'm, I mean I am highly happy Ties, so I don't know why I'm bothering actually. Um, I mean, we can all see the chicken, right? We will have a close up, right? It's not an issue, right? There will be close ups given, right? And everyone be, hang on a fucking second, for fuck's sake, right? And everyone be, will be on expectations, right? Okay. And that's just how it is. So, I need to get so I'm employing some ultra skill tactics now okay. and this is how I like my eggs anyway I always like to flip them over as well as I go only a little flip like one two three four five six seconds we'll let them chill out yeah wooden spoon is out it's been in the course, right? We all know what's going on. Flip it back over. Back over again. And we got amazement. And we got amazement now. And I'm going to lay that baby on now. Like she means it. And she's witnessed it. Yeah. And uh, we will do a final execution of the situation in a second. All right, and there we go. So that is the roasted chicken on fried onions. So there we go. So that's an awesome roasted chicken with the fried tomatoes. We're doing all the business. We're getting it all into all the detail like I like to do. So, you know, it's a probably special, but it's not, is it? It's like we created amazing, 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 right? We've just basic stuff, right? Yeah, chips are, some of the chips, are, I think they're perfect, to be honest. I would say they're right, they're not. They are absolutely perfect. They are just single cooked trick chips. Right? So they're raw, in oil, they're not boiled before or anything like that. They're just proper wholesome chips right right no flashness bit of tomato ketchup yeah now we've got the eggs yeah now we've got the eggs so as a little special treat for you all used people we're gonna do it we're gonna cut into the egg right we're gonna do it here we go one two three oh look at this look Right, that's... There we go. So there we are. A nice, not quite runny, but it has been sitting there for a little few minutes while I've been faffing around. But it's it's nice. We've got the other egg underneath. You know, we'll cut into that. That's obviously not. That's a little bit done as well, but that's fine. But yeah, so we have lovely egg and chips, right? Um, tomato sauce, beautiful chicken, fried tomatoes, fucking winner, absolute winner. Anyway, we disagree. If you weren't served that up when you were starving, mate, you're mental. Fry fucking oven, fucking onion fried roasted chicken. With two fried eggs, some homemade chips, 
fried tomatoes and ketchup. Fucking hell. It's a meal fit for a king, mate. Right. I'll see you in the next one. That's a poverty special. See you later.